Hi and welcome to the My Matcha Life kitchen. So we're here today and it's this gorgeous vista behind me at Vancouver, Canada and we're going to show you how to make a traditional matcha North American style. So you're going to need a few things. The first thing is hot water, your hot water, your matcha. In this case we're using our Tea Lovers Organic Ceremonial Matcha. It's a very uh, bold, rich flavor and extremely, extremely smooth. Uh, you're going to need your chasa. So this is Japanese bamboo whisk. One little piece of bamboo and they cut all those little fronds in there. A whisk holder, your matcha bowl, and a teaspoon. So your first step is to take a little bit of matcha, maybe half a teaspoon, and put it in the bottom of your bowl. Personally, I like mine a little bit stronger, so we're going to go for about three quarters of a teaspoon. And the first step is to really make a paste. And so you add maybe an ounce of hot water, Take your whisk and just press the matcha against the sides of the bowl. You want to just break up any clumps that might be in there. And so this is a very finely milled matcha, so that doesn't take very long to do. And then you're going to add two more ounces of water. So this point is really important. This is your water to powder ratio to help you get a good froth going. So you don't want your water to be up too high on the bowl, otherwise you won't be able to get a vigorous froth and you'll end up with matcha all over the place. So you take your whisk, two fingers and the thumb, and you start out slow. Just zigzag motion back and forth, and a W. So don't go in a circular motion, nothing's going to happen. So zigzag motion back and forth, and you can get quite vigorous as you can see. And then the bubbles start to foam, and then slow down, get rid of any large bubbles that might be in there. Little twist. And there you go. You can smell the aroma already. It's a vibrant, vibrant green color. And um, some people from here, they would take their, their matcha and just drink it like this out of the bowl. Personally, I like to take it and uh, pour it into my mug and then fill my mug up with hot water from there. So there you have it. That's how to make your traditional matcha North American style. I hope you enjoyed the vista. We'll be coming up with more videos for you in the future. So stay tuned to mymatchalife.com. And uh, thanks for watching.